Hello, sweeties. Um, so, the video I want to do today is about the Law of Attraction. And I know that I've briefly talked about the Law of Attraction before. I think probably when I was filming my affirmation video. Um, but the Law of Attraction is something that I've been getting into a lot recently. I've been watching a ton of videos. I recently got this book, which is the third book in um, the series by Rhonda Byrne. The first, obviously, is The Secret. I skipped straight over the second one and went into the magic because the magic is like a 28 day workshop kind of thing. So I've been working my way through that and it's really, really cool. But I want, I've been wanting to make this law of attraction video for at least a month and I keep putting it off and I keep putting it off because these videos, I want to be so perfect for you guys. I want them to help you. I want them to be good. And I'm always kind of, you know, second guessing myself in my head about doing videos like this because I don't know if I'm going to do it justice. So I'm just going to go for it. You know, I've been trying to get into the mindset of done is better than perfect. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to dive into it and we're going to talk about the law of attraction. And the reason I wanted to talk about it is because it can be so overwhelming. Like when you first start reading about it, I started with reading, um, my God, and I'm not going to remember her name, Esther Hicks, I believe. And, um, her conversations with Abraham. So you got Abraham Hicks. Um, the law of attraction is the name of the book. And I started there. And for me, the law of attraction was not a difficult read, but the way they use certain phrases and certain words, it takes a few a few minutes of reading to kind of like tune into it. I found the secret to be a much easier read and more applicable. I think to my daily life, I really, really enjoyed the secret, but I went from the law of attraction to the secret and it's overwhelming. It's like, where do I start? How do I do this? What am I thinking? What, what am I thinking? Because like your thoughts, you know, attract things. So you don't want to think the wrong things. So I just kind of want to break it down a little bit and maybe sort out some of the confusion, even that's in my own head. I am not an expert, not an expert in the law of attraction. I am still learning. I am still studying. I am still reading. And I just want to put this out there to maybe start helping some of you guys. So the law of attraction at the base states that like attracts like. And what that means is the things that you think about attract more things like that. So if you're thinking good thoughts, if you're thinking about you love your job and you love your car and you love your life, then good things are coming to you. Good things are happening to keep you more happy. And if on the reverse of that as well, if you're thinking negative thoughts, like I hate my job, like this shit sucks. Um, my car is a piece of junk and it dies all the time. And my dog is a dork and constantly pees on the floor. That's what you're going to get more of because the things that you're constantly thinking about, you're constantly bringing about. 
right? <laughs> so like I said, all of a sudden you're thinking about, am I thinking the wrong things? You know, and like no thoughts are wrong, but the more happy you can be, the more happy you can feel. The universe wants to keep you in that state. The universe wants to keep you happy. So if you're constantly going through life with a positive outlook and you're happy about stuff and you're constantly seeing the good in things, the universe is constantly providing you with more scenarios that keep you in that happy state. Negative as well as positive. And I remember this so clearly in the law of attraction because they said flat out, you're not going to like hearing this, but if you're living in a situation that you don't like, it's hard to understand, but you put yourself there by your thoughts. And I probably, a lot of people find that uncomfortable thinking that they brought about their current circumstances that they don't like by their own thoughts. But I really believe you do. When I lived in New York, I was like grade A negative bitch. Nothing good happened. Nothing good happened to me. Nothing good happened in my life. I was so negative all the time. And guess what? Fucking nothing good happened. When we made the choice to move here, I start, when we chose that we were going to move here, I started that day working on my frame of mind and I didn't do it because of the law of attraction or because of anything like that, but I wanted myself to be in a better frame of mind and I knew that to make everything happen that we needed to make happen, I needed to be positive about it. I needed to know, I needed to be positive that everything was going to go exactly the right way. And so that's when I guess, I guess I started the law of attraction then and just didn't know it. But yeah. So thinking about all of these things, thinking about what am I thinking constantly? One of the other keys that they talk about is that there's no need to constantly monitor your thoughts. You don't need to be like, oh my God, what am I thinking? Oh my God, am I thinking a negative thought? You don't really need to do that because the greatest indicator of what you're thinking is how you're feeling. So if you feel good and you feel happy, then your thoughts are good. Your thoughts are happy. If you're feeling sad or depressed or mad, you're thinking not good thoughts and you need to give it a little flip right there. So your feelings or emotions are your guide. They're your signpost to what you're thinking. Good thoughts, happy feelings, bad thoughts, bad feelings. So that's a good topic maybe for a future video, how to stop the bad thoughts and get yourself into thinking happy thoughts. Note to self. Now the law of attraction means that, and it sounds crazy, it sounds crazy, but the law of attraction means that you can have anything you want. You can be anything you want. Anything. If you can think about it, you can attract it to yourself by thinking about it. But that doesn't mean that you can sit back and, you know, on your couch and Netflix it and the whole world is going to fall into your lap. Like, you know, here you go. <laughs> you still got to put in work, you know, like I've been talking to my daughter about the law of attraction and she works at Target and she was not getting a lot of hours. She definitely wanted more hours. So I kept telling her, you know, just think about it and be positive about it. You know, just when you go into work, say, I'm so happy and grateful that I'm working more hours. I really enjoy my job. When you leave work, I'm so happy and grateful that I'm getting more hours at work. And I told her, I'm like, at the same time, 
you know, you can be thinking these good thoughts and you can be grateful for having more hours at work. I'm like, but you can't like turn down hours when they call you, you know, it doesn't really work that way. If you want more hours and they call you out of the blue and say, Hey, you want to work today? And you're like, nah, I'm good. You know, you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot there. So you need to take inspired action. You know, if you want more hours at work and you're being grateful for your job and you're being grateful for getting more hours and then they call you and yeah, let's go, you know, and she did it and she brought about an extra, I think, 16 hours that week, which is awesome. She wasn't scheduled for it. They just, you know, called her and asked if she wanted to cover someone else's shift and then she traded not she didn't trade, but she covered someone else's shift. So she got extra hours that week, which was perfect. So the next idea that they talk a lot about that's probably one of the hardest is ask, believe, receive. Ask the universe for what you want believe that it is yours already and then receive it. Probably the hardest part for that, even for me still, is believe. Believe that you already have the thing that you're asking for. Live as if you already have it. How? Like sometimes I think that's probably the most difficult part. But you have to live as if what you're asking for is already yours. You don't have to know how you're going to get that thing. You don't have to know where it's coming from. You don't have to understand the way that it's coming to you. All you have to do is you have to believe that it's already yours. It sounds difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> to me, it does. Um... And this is something big that I'm still, still, still working on. Um, getting rid of the doubts that careen around in my head and believing that what I'm asking for is already mine. Living as if what I want is already manifested in my life. So important though, ask, believe, receive. I'm just reading my notes real quick. I think, I think one of the, the important keys is that you can start simple with the law of attraction and you can build your belief step by step. Um, you know, start by manifesting a cup of coffee. Start by manifesting, you know, someone giving you a newspaper to read or something like that. You can start super small and as you receive the things that you're asking for, you can build it bigger and bigger. I was watching um, a recording of one, it was a like a seminar on a cruise ship by, um, I think it, I think her name is Esther, Esther Hicks. One of her readings with Abraham and a gentleman in the audience said the lottery is at $93 million right now and I want it. How do I manifest that $93 million lottery win into my life? And she said, you can do it. You can totally do it. But the problem that most people would have doing it is that they cannot imagine what their life would look like at that point. They can't imagine what their life would be like after winning $93 million. And that kind of stuck with me. Like these huge things that you want to manifest, you've got to be able to put yourself there. You've got to be able to feel it before you have it. You've got to be able to understand in your mind that 
this thing that you're asking for is yours. So that's why I feel like starting small can help you build your way up, you know, step by step by step, start super small, manifest what you're asking for, and build your belief that way. I feel like that was a lot of information, and I don't know if I presented it well, but I think this is a good start. I do want to talk about one more thing before I go, and that is this pretty necklace that I'm wearing right now I crafted with my own two hands and I'm not gonna like go into the long story but long story short I have a lot of jewelry that I have made with my own two hands um, that I am selling this stuff has literally been sitting around my house for five years it's time to let it go. It's time to let it move on to a new home. <laughs> I don't know why I've been hanging on to it, but I have. This is a set of pagan prayer beads, which I have numerous sets of. But I am listing all of these on my Facebook group and my Instagram. My Instagram is Candy K on YouTube. My Facebook group again is Candy K on YouTube and both of them are linked down below. I am selling all of this stuff um, and even more that I haven't listed yet. I'm listing like one thing every day. So if you're interested in it, shoot me a message. You can write me at mylifemyplanner at gmail.com. You can join my Facebook group and private message me there. You can DM me on Instagram. Um, but I'm really, and actually since I really started doing the Law of Attraction, I've been getting more and more into my jewelry making again. And it's like lighting my world up. <laughs> so I'm probably going to keep going with this. I'm going to start by selling off things that I already have made. So please, please help me give this stuff a new home. Um, as usual, you can submit your questions, confessions to me either through my email, which I already mentioned, mylifemyplanner at gmail.com, or you can go to ourdreamynest.com and click on the Dear Candace tab and submit an anonymous question confession. Um, I already talked about my Facebook group, so please join that. Uh, the link will be down below. Um, what else? What else? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like these Law of Attraction style videos, please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoy them. Um, if you have any questions about Law of Attraction in particular, leave them in the comments and maybe I'll do another like reading your comments, answering your questions video. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.